February 25th, 2022. I'm sitting here. I stumbled upon something called a counterpunch. C-O-U-N-T-E-R-P-U-N-C-H on NTD. Um, they put up Mikhail Gorbachev, president of the Soviet Union, from when I was a child. Um, he looks like I remember as a child. Um, and um, the man... I don't know what area he's from, um, speaks of this theory of communism in stages, which again, is not something that they teach in my subservient state, um, which is how he referred to the smaller states, um, which I would assume, I mean, that's the only logical component of running a... I mean, I wake up daily with people that don't even, when I question, if we live on a sphere, how does water stick to the floor of the ocean? I mean, like, that's, like, my go-to question in stumping someone, but they don't even think that question is, like, I don't know, validity on it, but whatever. So, um, there has to be some form of subservient state to some larger state in this security thing going on. Now, um... Where, like, I wake up every day in something called a new N-E-W, but then it's attached somehow to York, Y-O-R-K. They seem to be, like, the great beyond in, like, Great Britain, I suppose. And then, outside of the Great Britain, then there's the king that looks like my family lineage, not the whatever they currently have on some calendar that I don't even know. I mean, the parents or the fosters that didn't even know to ask about the water feature and how the rock that we're on works in is land. I mean, island is what they say, but is land. And when I say that, they don't even put two and two together. But whatever. That's just my where I landed, um, so now, um, there is subservience in the state, um, there has to be, because I was watching how, uh, Kiev, 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 je ne sais pas mon so, I don't know which way is better to say it, how, they were taken so quickly, and I was like, wow. But then I'm thinking, I'm looking around New York, and while I don't have tanks, drones, and helicopters flying in for a big show, it appears there was something that went on that nobody speaks of. Um... So I don't know how that works in stages of things. Um, this is what the pro... And then he speaks of this gentleman, um, and I don't know his name. I have to... When the, it flashes on the bottom. Um, he says something about Tito. T-I-T-O was in Yugoslavia. Now that's very interesting because Tito followed me to... New York, um, in my life frame, I had the Romer problem, the fish row, R-O-E-M-E-R, um, which the name is really catchy because it looks like it could, it looks like it belongs on a fish island, um, in humans that are nefarious and dangerous with 
no purpose other than to hurt me and for whom I was built for. But, um, anyhow, so, um, so Tito, so that's, so Romer, the elder Romer from 1940-something, um, when the whatever happened and then there was the ink on the toilet paper that is of least whatever as far as I'm concerned. Um, he sent me to an island called St. Thomas. I don't know if he thinks these symbolic gestures are funny because I'm pretty sure the people that I met at Booth Bay Harbor that have the Tom's toothpaste don't find these gestures quite as funny as perhaps Peter does in He's Not St. Petersburg. So now, uh, Tito follows me to work one day, um, in Yugoslavia, more my grandfather's whatever. And so, um, his name was Sonny Tito, and he used to come in every day. I worked for a man by the name of Peter, go figure, no relation to the other guy, um, and, uh, Sonny used to come in and sit at Peter's desk for like an hour, I mean, again... I appreciated the check-in. I knew he was an important man. I just didn't know, like, anything where anybody's coming from. And the name didn't strike me as familiar at the moment when he was here. <sighs> um, but now that I see that there's some tie-in with the... with our subservience here to whatever in the great beyond is going on. Um, anyhow, this is what they said was the whatever. Velocity. And just for the exact the mundo, or mundo, um, I'm having problems with the weather machine, the pla planetary orientation, with pressure gauging and the breathing apparatus. Um, there's no more, uh, well, there should not be nicotine poisoning any longer. That, that has ceased for quite some time now, um, going on. Uh, I saw the other day an FBI agent put, the ones that are allowed to say agent before their name, um, they put up on the thing, or I think they're, well, I don't know, again, I don't want to get in a fight with whatever, um, the, they put up that there was an investigation in somebody who was actually injecting, uh, someone else with nicotine to try to harm them. I'm like, I didn't realize that it was one of those, I mean, they say carcinogenic, but you think of breathing in all of these fumes, like, whatever, but the chemistry is not clear here in this language as to the ca root cause and exactly how they're, how they're, I don't know, delivering certain toxins, I suppose. Money with China. Let's bring China into the Western fold. You know, both President Bush's talked incessantly about how they wanted a strong China as a partner in the world. Well, there's a big problem with that. China never went off the communist road. Once it went on, it has never come off. People have a massive misunderstanding about what communism is. Now I agree. Again, the root of the word is something is born. 
Now, you can read this in the Vietnamese literature and the, um, the Chinese literature. Vietnam and China have both adopted free market policies, and according to Westerners, that means they are no longer communists, right? Okay, they've adopted capitalist policies, so they can't be communist. Well, that's because these people don't understand what communism is. Now, Marx, who knew a thing or two about communism, was really the founder of the modern communist movement. Not the first communist, but the most influential. I did not know that there were several layers in this. Whatever. Um, feudalism, right? So, there's they had a TV show explaining family feud. It seems at serfdom, which they don't speak of anywhere in the stages of human development, but I remember from a previous whatever, um, in S-E-R-F, um, I watched the show, but it gets confusing. Um, the, I get lost in the soup of the words, the way that they're constructed. I know that it's, it's meant for me, it's not meant for me. I get that. Um, it's an anchor point of some sort. I just... Some of the details I get lost within... Um... So they say there's communist, primitive communism and then communism, but then socialism, which they mention a man, the only one I know of with socialism is Bernie Sanders. That's his big claim to fame every time a conversation comes up around these parts. Oh, that is... But capitalism loses me in what's arrived and so on and so forth and in this area like I said the papers that I have to go off of for American is it's not a a book of like a thick book it's very subservient um, and it, building of some sort, but, um, so it's star 1978, star 8378, a cool Caterusa, um, it's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken, and pause this for a sec. Now this is interesting. It says exposing communist subversion. Now that is so interesting. Subversion. Huh. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, time and space is still broken. At Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. Um, they have this new commercial they're running about buying a new galaxy. I mean, they're talking about a cell phone. I know the humans don't get it. But I'm sitting here going, really? We're up to buying a new galaxy? Galaxy? 